Hey guys, so now that winter is over, it's time to store your Canada Goose coats. And there's just a few things to know about storing and cleaning the coats because you want to ensure that when you grab it for next winter, your coat's clean and um, you know you don't cause any harm to the coat while you're storing it. Um, so these these coats, like I said, provide a little bit or need a little special care to them um, while storing them or while cleaning them. And uh, I'll go through some of the best ways and the best methods. Um, to do that. So uh, I have three different kind of coats here, a down puffer um, jacket, a non-down jacket, and then the regular parka kind of coats. Um, so I'll kind of go over the methods for cleaning and storing this one and then I'll go into the other two. So <clears> through <throat> these coats um, you'll want to store them in a cool and a dry place. Uh, you'll want them clean before you store them so I recommend uh, dry cleaning the coats if they're dirty enough. If they're not too dirty, then I don't. You probably don't need to dry clean them. I would just find where it's ever dirty and take a little washcloth or a sponge and clean them off. Kind of just you know, um, rub it off, or if you have a brush, you brush off them some some dirt or whatever. So um, I'd avoid dry cleaning unless you absolutely need to because it's really dirty or then you know it's pretty dirty throughout or um, just you don't feel comfortable drying because you don't want to have dirt on the coat while you store it because then it. Um, invites things you don't want like mold and mildew onto your jacket. So make sure to clean, um, store them in a dry place. I would hang them up um, in a closet or somewhere where there's some air movement. You know, I don't like putting, I wouldn't recommend putting them in a, a Ziploc bag or sealing them just because if there's any dirt on them or there's anything on them um, that uh, invites you know mold or mildew some things kind of grow more in you know anaerobic environments or places that don't doesn't have any air movement so I would recommend hanging them up you can fold them and put them in a drawer too um, but one thing to know about these down or any down jackets you'd never want to stuff them too tight because if you stuff them too tight for too long you ruin you'll ruin the down inside the jacket and then you won't have as much insulation um, and it won't protect you from the cold so as well so <clears throat> never never um, pack them too tight and store them and store them for too long because like i said it'll damage the structure of the down fill inside the jackets um, and then uh one other thing to note if your jacket doesn't smell that fresh um and you don't want to dry clean it um i would recommend taking some baking soda pouring it liberally throughout the jacket or sprinkle it all over the jacket and then put it in a ziploc bag um, and seal it closed for about a week and the baking, baking soda absorbs is, uh, you know, it kind of absorbs smell. So people use it on their carpets and people use it for other things. But it works great for clothing too. So, it, so you sprinkle it on the jacket, seal it up, um, and come back to it in a week and brush all the baking soda. And it should have absorbed most of the smells on it. I had, a, I had one jacket that was, had a really strong smoky smell because someone smoked a lot in their Canada Goose. And uh, I was able to take, you know, to completely take the, scent, the smoke scent away from it with baking soda. So I recommend that just in case uh, you yeah, have some, it doesn't smell the, the best. Um, also, kind of another thing to do if you want to just to freshen the jacket up. So just take it outside, throw it on a hanger, um, or throw it somewhere that gets some fresh air and a little bit of sunlight. And uh, that should also just freshen up your jacket too. Um, don't leave it whenever, wherever you store it or if you're drying it outside or, or not drying it, but freshen it up outside. Don't leave it in the sun too long because the sun had, um, will damage the exterior of the jacket. Um, and also the fill, the down fill inside if the sun's, if the sun's um, on it for too long. So that's just another thing to note. Um, for dry cleaning the coat, um, I wouldn't dry clean it, like I said, unless you absolutely need to, just because I think generally cleaning the coats or cleaning coats when you don't need to, it's harmful to the coats and will deteriorate them a little bit faster than maybe you'd like. So, only if you need to, take them a reputable dry cleaner, just one that knows, um, one that's just you you trust to clean your expensive coat. If you can, for mo well, most coats have this option. Just take the fur off the jackets, of course. Dry cleaning, cleaning chemicals hurt the hurt the um, fur on the jacket or on the hurt the fur because the first have certain oils and the chemicals you know take that oil off and then you're and then you you run the risk of having some of the hairs on the fur fall out or just not having it as soft as it once was or as good of a protector from the cold in the wind um, so just take the fur off before you dry clean it if the fur is dirty um, you can take it to a fur specialist maybe if there's one around and they, they can do a pretty good job on that so 
<coughs> Those are most of the things on like the Parker type coats for cleaning them and storing that you'll probably ever need to know. Don't ever wash them in the washer. Um, it avoids the warranty as well as you run the risk of making it so it's not as water resistant. Also, it hurts the structure of the coat a lot and the downfill. You ruin the risk of make, um, hurting the downfill and not making it a very good insulator anymore. So don't ever dry or wash it in the washing machine. Um, you know, I don't know the specifics or you know everything about that of why it's super bad, but um, Canada Goose does not recommend that you do that. And I would just avoid it. Just if it, just don't do that. So um, the next thing I'll get into is the down jackets, like this law jacket or a high bridge jacket you have. These you can actually machine wash. So um, uh, I would put them on a cold, and then don't use regular detergent because regular detergent has something in it that reacts with the down fill inside um, inside your coat. That I don't know if it ruins the form of the structure of the coat or if it you know takes the oil off of the feathers I'm not exactly sure what happens but it it um, it'll kind of ruin the down fill inside your jacket and make it not as good of an insulator so don't use regular laundry detergent there's some special uh, goose downs laundry detergent that works for down fill it was spe specifically designed for down fill and that won't um, ruin the or harm the feathers in your coat so Buy that. It's online for me, like twelve dollars. If you're gonna wash the coat in the washing machine, <coughs> which you can do with these jackets. Um, but once you're done, you'll take it out and it'll be all flat. And you'll want to throw some tennis balls or some. There's some other kind of things that are used in dryers to refluff things. So there's like balls with little bumps on them. You throw in there and it'll knock around and kind of re it refluffs and makes your jacket just as pillowy as it was before um, washing it. So I would tumble dry it. Um, I've actually done heat drying, but I don't know. It might be potentially dangerous to your jacket or the fill or something inside. So I can't recommend heat drying. I've done it and the coats turned out fine. Otherwise, just air fluff it um, and just wait a long time. I wouldn't just air dry it or just, you know, just hang it up and wait for it to dry because down takes a really long time to dry. It'll, be, it'll take maybe even days for it to dry. And also you run the risk that the down won't get as fluffy as it once was because it's just kind of clumped and drying. And you, you need kind of need something to rub against it and um, re-fluff kind of the, the filling inside the jackets. Um, in terms of storage, just like the other coat, store in a dry, cool place. Um, <coughs> they These come with like, most ja can do jackets come with these like pillow pockets or pockets that you can st pack the coats in. Don't ever store them in that. Like I said, packing the, anything too tight like that will ruin the fill inside the jacket. But um, yeah, so those are the most of the ways of about storing it and cleaning these coats. Um, these say don't dry clean, so I would avoid just dry cleaning. And I haven't dry cleaned one of these jackets. Um, since you can wash them, I think it's just better to wash them in the washing machine. Um, um, so yeah. These jackets are, not last type of jackets, just like the non-downfill jackets. This is the Tremblin jacket. Um, these, you can just wash in the washing machine, use regular detergent. Um, just don't air dry it. I think as a general, as a, you know, in general, a good rule is just don't air dry any, or don't heat dry anything that um, you really like. Because heat drying, or just drying in general, in the dryer, um, tends to, you know, kind of deteriorate your clothes kind of ages it a lot quicker, you know, fibers get, fibers get <coughs> stripped off your, or of your clothes. Um, so even, even for me, like things that can be air dried or heat dried, I don't dry if I really like, just cause it keeps them looking new longer and doesn't harm the uh, structure or the fabric of anything um, as much as, well, it harms the jackets if you heat dry them a lot more than so I just, I just, you know, um, air dry them or just throw them, lie them flat and dry them that way. Usually it's kind of a pain, it takes longer, but um, I find it just keeps things looking newer longer, like I said. And, um, so I would recommend that for any other Canada Goose jacket. You have maybe like a shell that you wash. Um, you know, I would read the tag, um, but I just, as I said, wash it regularly and then just dry it, air dry it, and then, you know, store it in a cool dry place like most clothes. 
and dry the panda goose coats. So those are most of the tips for drying, for cleaning and uh, storing your candy goose coats. If you had any other questions, throw them in the comment section below. Um, if I felt I missed anything, you wanted to add something, definitely do that. Um, help other people that are going to be storing and um, cleaning their coats. Uh, yeah, so um, hit uh, the like button and like the video if you thought it was helpful. Um, Subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot of other videos, mostly reviews and overviews of Candy Goose coats, different types of models I'm getting. I have some limited edition coats, some collaboration coats as well. And I just overview the kind of the features of the coat as well as tell some things that I liked and disliked about the jackets that I review. So be sure to check those out um, and subscribe. I also am selling most of the coats that I've shown in my videos. So if you ever any, have any questions, just comment on the um, video and I can work out a deal with you if you're interested in buying the buying a pre-owned Canada Goose coat for a lot cheaper than the retail price would be. Um, so <clears throat> uh, yeah so go through any other videos that the older videos or subscribe because you'll be posting these new kind of rare coats that I'll be uploading Canada Goose coats. If you're interested in those you can um, purchase those. So um, hope you like the video of the kind of the best ways to store and clean your Canada Goose coats. And uh, I have to say thanks for watching.